What's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. This is your boy Amit and today we are looking at how to use Google Flow VEO3 video creator to create cinematic style video. I'm going to share my technique on how you can write that perfect prompt to get those cinematic videos, get the output that you desire. So with that, let's get started. All right, before we get into how the prompting works, I'm gonna show you a few things that I have tried so far. So first was, I um, took this entire trailer of the Fantastic Four, fed it to Manus and said, explain this scene to me. So it went and crawled frame by frame and did an analysis of the entire trailer because I wanna understand how do computer vision or how does AI AI see all the stuff right and then it can kind of help guide my prompting so that was one of the things I did I also went through some other videos on YouTube that are about filmmaking copied that transcript and then fed that to chat GPT and then created a custom chatbot that would help me write these scenes so this is uh, the chatbot uh, it's I created it under custom GPTs gave it all these different parameters uh, that was actually guided from the scripts that I fed it. So I have this movie scripting PDF file that I fed it. And that PDF file essentially is a Google Doc. And that Google Doc is three different YouTube videos. I took their transcript and I fed it to ChatGPT. And that's what guided a lot of this custom GPT stuff. And then I also have a bunch of screenshots here from another website that I found. And I took those screenshots, added it to create this custom GPT so it can understand how scenes work, how does cinematography work, how does screenplay work, and then it can hopefully guide all of that and guide that script to the way I want it. So I created that and the result of that is now if I go in here and say write me a 30 second trailer or a two minute scene it should be able to do that. So let's go and give it a prompt and see what happens. All right so my prompt is write me a 15 second TV ad for a new chicken wings place called Steve's Lava Chicken. Uh, so it goes in now because I have fed it all that information it's going to talk like a cinematograph right. There is this stuff called VO and SFX for sound effect. I don't know what uh, VO I think is voiceover, right? So voiceover is gritty and playful. Uh, this is a 15 second TV ad. Now this to me doesn't look like a 15 second TV ad, it looks very short. But what I'm going to do now is feed this to VEO3, Google's latest video tool that also adds voice to it and see how it comes out. But before I do that, there's a few more things I want to show you. I tried this and then I tried just giving the prompt without really using any of these training methods. So you can do that too. So if I go in here, I can go just to a new chat. Let's pick a model that might be good with reasoning. So, all right, so now let me just show you if I was to give this a prompt without any training, right? So I'm gonna write that exact same prompt. I am choosing the O3 model instead of the other models. And let's give it the exact same prompt without any training whatsoever. All right, so same prompt, write a 15 second script for a TV commercial for a chicken wings place called Steve's Lava Chicken. So you can see it's almost similar. We have a visual here first, then voice over so that's zero to five seconds then we have a visual camera again then voice over then logo voiceover now what we're gonna do is I actually like this better so all of that training I feel like was making it too complex and not necessarily something that I was going to use so let's try this and what I'm going to do is go into flow and I'm going to try this exact ad and let's create a new project one thing to note here when anytime you put the text to video always remember to change this to the highest one if you are on the VEO 3 plan so here it says visual slow motion close-up of molten red sauce cascading over a tower of crispy wings and voiceover is deep energetic when ordinary wings just don't cut it. So that's the first one. You can do up to five consecutive generations inside of VEO3. So I'm going to go back and get my second prompt here. Let's put the second prompt. Now, since I've already done it once, I don't have to do it again, but I just like to make sure that I'm on the correct model here. So let's do that second one and then let's go back and get the third one. Now, while the these three are cooking. What we're going to do 
next is I want to show you a video that I created using cinematic prompts. So while we wait for this to happen, let me play that video for you. Now this is a totally unedited raw trailer that I wanted to create for Back to the Future using some cinematic prompts. So I'll let I'll play this and then we'll talk a bit about this while VEO3 is doing its magic on those other videos. So that was the uncut version of the video and some of the scenes I really liked some were like eh, eh I don't know what that medieval time guy was doing showing up in the middle of the video but what I did like is the camera work that went in it. So now let's try this again. Uh, so this is our first scene here. All right, I don't know if you could hear that sound, but it sounded gross and uh, there was no voiceover. So the voiceover didn't come through, but uh, the chicken looks nice and crispy. However, the sound was not good at all. So this next one says, the camera whips pans to a friend around a table, eyes widening as steam rises, one bites in, cue audible crunch and a playful lava burst graphic, ignite your taste buds. not bad so that's a little bit better it's definitely come a long way from one of those early videos of will smith eating spaghetti which was not great at all and then here's our third scene So this one is actually good, right? Uh, the graphics are there. I remember I used to pay for a software that did this whole text blasting through graphics and things exploding. I used to pay for a software to do this. Now you can just have AI do it. So if you were to string these together, you would get a 15 second commercial. So that was the concept. Then someone introduced me to a custom GPT. So I tried that custom GPT. Let me show you where it is. VEO3 master prompt. And this one is created by a fellow who is in the same Facebook group as I am uh, AI prompts for entrepreneurs I think it's called and this one wasn't bad if I take that prompt and put it in here I might get a different result so let's go back to our prompt which is the Steve's lava chicken ad go to the VEO3 master prompt and put it here so here we get the exact same thing but now you can see there is a narrator and it goes into further detail now that search of mine what i also did is i took the same prompt i put it in gemini i put it in claude i put it in manus the i put it in grok i put it in meta i guess i could have just went to open router and tested all of them at the same time but that was my methodology to find the ones that worked the best but they all were giving me these prompts that i don't know if veo3 just wasn't getting it or I was missing the mark so from there I had a different idea I wanted to retrain the custom bot and in this time what I thought of is going to flow TV and flow TV if you haven't checked it out it's essentially uh, their explore feature where you can see different videos made by creators and here I wanted to find good videos that look like they have decent graphics that look like it might be something worth getting the prompt for so from here I would go and click on show prompt get the prompt copy it and train my bot on that prompt my custom GPT so I did that part as well but still it's not netting me the same results now you can see that some of these prompts are they're pretty lengthy if I go back to the previous one so if we look at this one for mobile homes let me copy this prompt so we can read it so this prompt you can see is in depth a high angle shot in 35mm film of a palm leaf hut realistic noon hard lighting 
casting long realistic shadows. Suddenly the palm leaf hut groans and transforms with mechanical precision like a transformer unfolding into a wooden walking structure. The realistic transformation is seamless showcasing the palm leaf hut rising onto wooden articulated legs and begins to lumber through the jungle. So you can see this is a prompt that I would not be able to write by any means like by a long shot right I'm never going to write this and neither is chat GPT so insert my vibe coded tool born out of my own necessity feel free to use this it's completely free to use it is called videoprompts.com and now let me show you how this works it's fairly self-explanatory it's fairly simple but just to show you what that uh, difference would be right what I'm going to do is ask chat GPT to first write me the script in single sentences but make it a coherent script and then I'm going to take this to video prompts and have it expand to make it more friendly for VEO3. I'm going to give chat GPT its next prompt. All right, so my follow up prompt is rewrite the script in single sentences but make sure it's coherent from one sentence to the next. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, feed it to videoprompts.com and get that expanded script for each of the sentences. Now it didn't do it per sentence, but here I can just do this. I can take this first one, a pair of crispy, saucy, white chicken wings sizzle on grill as fames erupt beneath them. From here, we'll go to videoprompts.com and I'm simply going to type that thing here. Now you can add advanced controls and this is what we were looking at that prompt, right? In this one, high angle shot 35 mm film these are very specific things that people who are not in the cinema or ad world would know about and I certainly didn't know about this so after doing some research figuring out how this web app would work I vibe coded it using lovable.dev and this was the output that I got from it so those same styles I can choose here so I can say cinematic camera style I can say steady cam flow and if you don't know any of these you can just leave them blank the idea is to get a prompt that VEO3 will better interpret. So you can either apply random control and it'll totally randomly pick those controls and generate the scene or you can leave all the controls blank or you can go through these controls and see which ones you like best. There should be more controls in here. Let me refresh. So I'm going to repaste that prompt. But here now you will see there's a lot more options for camera control for pacing for camera direction and of course I don't know any of this I've just done the research as far as what options should people have so play around with that at your own pace there's a lot of options to choose from for under each of these or like I said just leave it simple so if I keep this simple and hit generate scene, I'm still going to get a much more descriptive scene right here. Now I can take this descriptive scene, go back to Google Flow and try to put that same prompt again. So this time what I'm going to do is I'll go back to that same project that we were making the chicken wings commercial and I'm going to give a new prompt here and make sure you set this to highest quality. And you can see this is already a lot more descriptive than what I got from chat GPT and that's the reason I vibe coded this I wasn't happy with the result so in today's day and age if you're not happy with the results of something go build your own and that's exactly what I did so that's what the results are now I can go and play with this I can continue to refine the product and if you do end up using this tool which again is completely free to use please 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 leave a comment let me know how I can improve this what other controls you would like to see here that connects to an API that gives us this text to video prompt and that's why it is much more enhanced than a simple prompt that chat GPT is going to give you because the program that I'm using is specifically designed to convert a text prompt to a video prompt and I just want to create a better wrapper around that program so that's really what this is it's a wrapper it's a good-looking wrapper around a program that's helping me do this on the back end so with that let's go and see I'll wait till this final video generates and see what that quality of the output is compared to that first one here which was again not a bad output it just wasn't enough I feel to give VEO3 enough data enough input to give us that output that we want so I'll pause the video wait for that generation to complete and then be right back all right we are back the scene has been generated I can already see the chicken wings on the grill that's making me hungry let's watch the video
All right, so this one slowly zooms in and then slowly fades to a different view. And that's kind of what the idea is to use these different camera angles within the same shot that I feel like ChatGPT or another AI won't be able to help unless you inherently know that knowledge. So that's where I am at right now is using my own tool, drinking my own Kool-Aid to create these scenes that look more professional, look more cinema quality. And this was without applying any filter. Now, if you were to apply this filters, let's try this one last time. So we can do, let's look at some of these filters here. Let's do, I don't even know what would go good with a food video, but we are going to pick, let's do a multi-angle rig. So that would be the camera style. The style itself can be cinematic. The direction can be tilt down. So we're looking from a higher angle and then pacing can be slow burn. I'm not going to add any special effect here and let's hit generate again. So if you hit that generate again you'll see now the scene has changed i can copy this new scene to clipboard go back here and paste that scene again make sure we are at the highest quality and now it's going to regenerate now if you want to add your own audio to it you will also obviously do that in most cases the scene will give you the audio prompts but because this is for a tv commercial uh, the chicken that's cooking is obviously not going to talk while it's cooking so just keep that in mind that when you're doing this if you want to add audio just add your own text to it if if you don't get it from the tool. So with that, I'm going to pause this video again, let the generation finish. We'll see that final result and then I'll give you my closing thought. Thanks for sticking around. All right, we are back. The video is ready. I don't see the chicken in the frame here, but that doesn't mean it's not there. Let's see what this video looks like. All right, there's definitely different camera action. So you can see it's panning from top down. That's what we picked in our scene here. If we go back, it was tilt down, multi-angle rig, slow burn. So this is the proof that VEO3 can understand these different camera tips and tricks, the techniques that regular people don't even know how to prompt, right? So this is a new era of prompting. This isn't just prompting your favorite AI tool for with a question to get that answer. This is understanding how movies and scenes and trailers and ads work, which again, I have no clue of. And this is for my own purposes because I would rather use a tool uh, that's good at this than trying to learn it from scratch. Here you have it. That is how getting a taste of my own medicine and learning how to prompt VEO3 to get me better results. If you want to check this tool out, I'll put a link in the description below, videoprompts.com. Or if there's something that's working for you, I would love to know what prompts are you using to get that great quality results out of VEO3. Thank you so much for sticking around, for watching this video. And if you've stuck around till now, you know the drill. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button so you get notified next time I release a video. And until next time, keep prompting.